And welcome back to Aloha Jen's beauty blog. For those of you that are new here, hi! My name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician for 14 years. So today's video is not about skin, it's not about makeup, it's all about the hair. So I picked up the new T3 Edge Heated Smoothing Styling Brush. And if you saw my last video, I mentioned it and I did put up a community post on this this last week. Well, it arrived and as promised, I film, I'm filming this video today. Now I did do a demonstration of this and I styled it with my hair today and this is the final look. It came out really well, I love it. Now, before I give you my thoughts on this hair tool, let's talk about this device before we head into the demo. And after the demo, I will close out with you and give you my final thoughts on this new hair tool by 23. So here is the box. And when you open it up, the tool is packaged here and then the cord is tucked underneath. And then right here is a little box here where the instruction manual comes in. And then you have this, um, styling tips card and it's like a quick start card for you to look over before you get started now this tool has some pretty wonderful technology in it so it is a heated styling smoothing um brush and it's there's so many of these out on the market now but however the technology isn't really all that great the technology in the t3 is amazing and let me go over that with you so we have, um, it says smooth, sleek results with an edge. So here is the edge right here. Now it has this edge right here is heated. It says heated edge provides an increased styling surface for smooth, shiny results and enhanced styling precision. You have the tuffeted bristles, which are right in through here in these um, hard plastic bristles. These help with the tension. And they are um, tuffeted nylon bristles to deliver optimal tension and control while taming freeze, uh, frizz and fast styling. And then you have the edge shield, which is these black plastic pieces right here. And this shield provides increased styling control while allowing hair to easily glide across the heated edge. Now, it says you have a Sarah gloss on here, which is a ceramic surface. There's three heat settings. The first heat setting is for straight hair. The second heat setting is for wavy hair. And then the third setting is for curly hair. And I go over those temperatures in the demo. You have ion generator, thermal touch technology, and auto world voltage. And then it has a one hour shut off time. So here it says the rapid heat technology, three precise heat settings deliver customized heat for every hair type and texture. You have the smart chip that monitors heat fluctuations for temperature consistency during styling. And then you have the ion generator, which minimizes static frizz, boost shine and locks in style. And I have to say my hair is very, very shiny. And then you have high performance heater ensures even consistent heat across T3 precision edge and Sarah gloss teeth for smooth polish styling. So the technology sounds wonderful and I will give you my thoughts after this demo. So I'll see you in a second. And welcome to the demo of the new T3 edge heated smoothing styling brush. Here it is. I just took it out of the package. I haven't turned it on yet. It does plug into the wall. Now this does have automatic adjusting voltage. So if you're gonna travel with this into a different country, the only thing you might need is just an adapter so it plugs into the wall. So that's very cool. Now I have to tell you right off the bat, this is pretty hefty. Um, it's kind of heavy in the hand, um, but other than that, I mean, the quality is really nice. So you have these edges right here that heat up and then these bristles right here are all pretty hard, except for right on the edge, you have like these almost like um, nylon, they're nylon bristles in here to create tension in the hair. So there's what that looks like. So we have three temperature settings. So one is for straight hair, which it heats up at 330 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Two is for wavy hair, which heats up at 370 degrees Fahrenheit. And then four, I'm sorry, three is 410 Fahrenheit, and that's for curly hair. So I'm gonna turn it on, press and hold it to turn it on. There we go, and I'm gonna use setting two. So once these lights start stop blinking, that means it's heating, it's fully heated. The technology in this brush is really cool. Now you have to use it on dry hair and I just did a rough blow dry of my hair. I didn't do anything fancy, no smoothing. And it looks so frizzy right now. I did come through it. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to work my hair in sections here, put it in a couple of sections and we're gonna test this out. I'm super, super excited for this. Um, it looks like it's going to be really fabulous, um, something that's quick and easy uh, to use to smooth out your hair really quickly, which I love because I still love my Airbrush Duo. It's just, you know, it takes me a long time to blow out my hair. Since it's long, it takes me about 25 minutes to blow out my hair and if this is, you know, super fast, that's going to be amazing because then I can do my hair quicker and faster. And what I love about this too is like, I can just let my hair air dry and then, you know, maybe it's on day two or something, I can just use this to smooth it out really quickly. So it's still heating up. So they, it says in the manual to take two inch sections and what you do is you take the brush and you run it under the underside of the hair and then you run it over the top now you can use the edge here to either you know give yourself like a little curl at the end or you can take it like this and do a flip which is pretty cool so it's still heating up here kind of taking a little while for it to heat up i thought it would heat up a little bit quicker than what it is but I do feel it getting hot. Oh, it's ready. Yay. Okay, so let's let's try this out. All right, so let me go ahead and just grab this section. Now, you could get this all the way up to this your scalp, and it doesn't, like, feel really hot or anything like that. So you just smooth it through the hair, and they said that you can hold it on the end here to help create additional tension. Okay, so I'm not really seeing much with that. Hmm. All right, let's go through it again. Okay, maybe I need a higher heat setting. So let's try it on the higher heat setting and see how well that goes. Cause that didn't get it as smooth as I, what I like it to be um, compared to what I've seen in the demos. Maybe I need to grab a thicker section or something. Okay, so let's try it like this. All right, here we go. Okay, now let's run it through here. Okay, yeah, that's better. Okay, let's do another section. I'm getting a little naughty there. Okay, yeah, that was really, really nice. That worked out really well. Wow, that really did get my hair smooth. So maybe I need to use setting three for my hair on this underside part because my hair and the underside is actually a lot more curlier than in the front and in the middle. Wow, that looks pretty good.
pretty impressive so far. I think I'm gonna switch it back to the medium because I don't really like to use that high of temperature on my hair, especially with it being blonde. And let's see what the number two setting will do for the rest of my hair. I do have heat protectant in my hair. And sorry, I just did not section this off very well. Okay, let's grab that again. Actually, that looks pretty good. Let's just grab another section here. Okay. Um, when I have my hair in sections, sometimes like it's a loosely clip and it's kind of a little bit tough for me to get right up there in the scalp or closer to the scalp because it will pull out my section. So let me fix this. Okay, so let's take this section. Okay, now let's run it over. Okay, that looks pretty good. So in the manual, it says if you can't see the bristles, like how you see it right here, pop up from your hair when you're smoothing it out, you may have grabbed too big of a section. And they specifically say to grab a two inch section of the hair. Okay, so that looks pretty good so far. Okay, so I have some wave here. So let's see if it will get out the wave. Oops. This is definitely a lot faster than flat ironing my hair, which is nice. Okay. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let me just grab this section and just go through everything again, just to see how straight it will get through. Let's grab some more. Let's grab this section over here. My hair wasn't, my hair was kind of knotted down there at the end. So you want to be careful of that. Let me fix this. Okay. All right, so let's grab this section. It's steaming. So I find like it's it, it's working out really nicely, but when I get towards the ends of my hair, I lose some of the tension. So it's gonna take me probably a little bit to kind of get used to this with styling, especially this is like my first impression. So this isn't normally how I style my hair. It's sitting down right here, I'm standing up and I have a mirror behind me so I can see. Now, I have this on the setting too. I'm gonna to turn it down to the setting of one because it feels like it's getting too hot right now. So, all right. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go through and style the under layer of my hair and then I'll come back when we do the top and see how it works for the top. So I'll see you in a few. Guys, I'm back and it took me three minutes to do the rest of my hair. This is super, super fast. It's faster than styling your hair or straightening your hair. 
with a flat iron for sure because you can take bigger sections and i think like once i get the hang of using this tool more i think i'll be better with uh my timing and how to style my hair so i'm gonna do the top part of my hair right now and i'm gonna style it with you so let me just section that off and i'm gonna try to get some volume here at the crown of my hair so hopefully this works out. I can't like really see that well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna over exaggerate this and I'm gonna come up from underneath here first, put it, put some tension and then pull this forward, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the, on the underside so I can get some volume at the crown in my head and that worked out pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna do that for all of this rest of this section. All right. Okay. So let me part this here. So they have a really good video that shows you kind of how to, you know, use this and style it to give yourself a good blowout look. And I watched it. Oops, I'm going to go this way first. And it was very, very helpful. I'm going to link it down below for you guys. Okay. I will say that this, though, does make your hair feel pretty hot. Okay. All right, so here's my last section, which is my bangs. And in that video, it said no matter whether you part your bangs on this side or not, follow these steps to style them. So I'm going to come up underneath here first. Okay. And then come up underneath here and do the same thing. And I'm going to hold it. They, they pin it. They do this section first, but I'm going to hold it so it cools and then just let it fall. Okay. All right. So I would say that this looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I straightened my hair in less than 10 minutes. That is pretty good. Hmm. I'll give you my thoughts on this in a few minutes. I'm just going to go through my hair and see if there's any sections that I missed. And I will close out with you in a second and give you my final thoughts as a first impression on the edge. Welcome back everyone. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration of the Edge Heated Smoothing and Styling Brush. Now, I know this wasn't my best demonstration, but however, you can get a feel of how this device works. Now, as a first impression, I'm in love. I love it. And I definitely need more practice with this as, you know, this was my very first time using it. So it was a little bit awkward at first, as it always is when I get a new hair tool. I like to prep, um, practice with it and, you know, figure out how it's truly going to work for my hair. As you see in the, in the demo, I was fluctuating between the different hair um, heat settings. Now, with these heat settings, I think number one is going to be great for my hair, like if I blow it out beforehand. But if I let my hair dry naturally and I let it curl up, I think I'm going to probably have to bounce around between two and three. And the reason for that is back here in the back of my head is where my curls are a lot curlier than everywhere else. And I think they're going to need more heat to completely smooth out. Now, I love the design of this brush. I think it's uh, awesome. I love that you can get really close to your scalp and really smooth out that wave close to the roots of the scalp. With my airbrush duo, I cannot do that. I can't get close enough and I always have like this little bump, especially back here, that you can see where my hair is really wavy that I just cannot smooth out. So this I love that. Now I will have to tell you on the edge here, it does get pretty warm. So if you touch it with your fingers, you will get, you'll feel that heat possibly burn your hand. You're supposed to touch it back here. And I find that when you're using it, definitely like holding the hair to create more tension works really nicely. As my hair was really, really soft because I just blew it out before I used this or I did a rough dry. So my hair was super, super soft. And I felt like it was kind of a little bit tough to work with. 
But I will tell you the total time to style my hair, including um, the rep blow dry was 15 minutes. Using this only took me 10 minutes. Now, if I go in with my Dyson Corel flat iron, it takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to flat out, flat iron my hair. This is only 10 minutes and I actually like the way it comes out better. I can go and style the edges better without, you know, any crimping at the ends, which I love. And overall, like my hair just seems really healthy and shiny and smooth and it just feels really good after using this. So I love it as a first impression. Now I am going to continue to play around with the edge and figure out what works best for my hair. And I will report back to you guys on my favorites video to let you know, you know, if I'm still loving it and if I think it's worth it. But as a first impression, I definitely think it's worth it. It's $149 and I had points on T3 from other purchases that I had saved up and I got $30 off this. So it was a great, a super great deal for me. <laughs> but all of my T3 devices or hair tools that I have, I'm, I'm super impressed with them. And I'm thinking about getting a new blow dryer to try out one of their blow dryers, especially they just released a new one because I do love my Dyson blow dryer, but I also love the ion technology behind the T3 um, hair tools because I just find that it makes my hair look a lot smoother. One of the reasons why I love the airbrush duo so much, like I seriously have not touched my Dyson air wrap since that arrived on my doorstep. It's what I go for every time I style my hair. Well, now I'll probably be reaching for this more too. And another, one of the main reasons why I picked this up is because you know, um, I wear my hair pretty much natural during the week and I don't, because I don't have time in the mornings to blow it out. It's such a pain in the tail and I work out at the gym and, um, you know, to blow it out and all that stuff, it's just easier for me to wear it natural. But if I let it curl up and say, if I want to go out after work, you know, for happy hour with my friends or something, and I want my hair to smooth out, I can grab this and run it through my hair and style it really quickly, which I think is awesome. If I want it smoother is what, I, what I'm um, trying to get across here. So as a first impression, I love it. And I hope that you found that this video was helpful if you're on the fence about this new hair tool from T3. And I will keep you posted um, on how much I'm loving it. And another thing I wanted to point out, which I pointed out in the demo, it is pretty heavy in the hand. However, I didn't find that it hindered anything from, from my style. And it, my hand and my arm did not get tired from using this because it was really quick and really fast. Now they have a really good video on their YouTube channel, which I'm gonna link below that gives you tips um, for using this to get sort of like a blowout look with it. So I'll list that down below for you guys to check out. If you decide to pick this up, I find it was really helpful for me to watch before I styled my hair. All right guys, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you click down um, and subscribe and click that button for your notifications. And look forward to more exciting content coming to Aloha Jen's Beauty Blog. I love you guys so much. I'm sending you all so much love and light. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day.